Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and welcome to our walkthrough review of Android 4.0 and Sense 3.6 on the HTC Amaze 4G. The Amaze 4G is uh, uh, a hero device on T-Mobile uh, that was launched and released last year. It's a great device a lot of people loved. It's got that 8 megapixel camera in the back, dual LED flash. You've got the uh, micro SD underneath. You do have the dual camera buttons. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the recording camera button on there and 2 megapixel front facing camera. So you can see there, so turn it on, you still have your same regular dock look on uh, on Sense 3.6 with Android 4.0. I slide that open, you can see I'm writing my app tray and the first thing you notice, app tray on Android 4.0 on and Sense 4.0 moves left to right, this actually moves up to down, up and down. So still similar here, you can still go to your frequency and downloads. Only difference here, there is no quick shortcut to uh, the Play Store or your settings from here that is still not available. So let's hit the home button here. So once we downloaded it, the Google search bar actually did show up. A couple applications which were not updated, which were Google Apps, actually were updated like uh, Gmail and things like that. You see there, you do have a dock here below uh, for your uh, call, your email, uh, text messages, as well as camera, and of course your app drawer right here and uh, we can go back again uh, so let's take a look at what version we have here so we hit the menu button you can see this actually brings up personalized wallpaper and settings it's different for, from what you regularly have in 2.3 and, and the old sense we go into settings you can see the settings here it's a little changed uh, to, to meet and match Android 4.0 uh, scroll down to about phone uh, and then go to uh, software information you can see you see that clearly Android 4.3 since 3.6 so what are the changes and differences you see here first of all it's snappier um, you can see it runs much smoother um, overall um, you do also have the multitask you, uh, menu so you do have your in your uh, notification bar you still have your um, what you call your multitask layer here which was part of the old sense of course you see your notification here you have your quick settings uh, where you can actually jump in and change your settings or you can tap that and jump into your settings. So your settings is still on your notification except it's, it takes a longer path to get to. You still have to go to quick settings and you have to tap that there. Um, of course you do have a task manager to wipe out applications and kill all which is still available. Um, another thing, the uh, multi-task tray or icon uh, is available to access that uh, which you have in Android 4.0 which has the list of multi-task uh, uh, item or so apps which you have open you hold down the home key and that brings you your multitask menu here and of course you can slide left or right to kill applications <coughs> so you can see it's got that uh, under 4.0 feel uh, you can see again it is uh, translucent so you can actually see your background in the back uh, your your wallpaper in the background there uh, and uh, you know like I said it works out fine other functionalities from Android 4.0 which you'd see also is you can combine your applications. So I'm going to combine all these. And I can name the folder new. Enter. Alright, so we have that there. And uh, Battery life on this is actually pretty good. I got this update yesterday, used it for a little bit. Um, I have all my emails and um, uh, applications running on here, Facebook and all that stuff. And it's pretty good on battery life. I'll see I've seen a good, say, 30% increase. So instead of me getting the usual 10 hour battery life, eight to 10, I'm probably getting closer to around 12 to uh, 14 or maybe more. I haven't done a full test, so I'll, I'll let you guys know in the future how well the battery works, but this is just a quick one day test. So taking a look at the camera, the camera app still looks the same. You, you do have your options on the side here on the left where you can cycle through, of course, your flash, uh, auto, which means your scenes, so you can actually cycle through the different scenes, but you do have to go into another window interface to actually change your uh, scene settings. Uh, you also have the ability to record uh, video as well as take photos. You cannot uh, record video and take photos at the same time with uh, with this device. It's just not built into it, it's something that can't can, can happen. So 
Overall, it feels very smooth and fast, but I'm sure you guys are wondering, okay, so what are the differences with Android 4.0 and Sense 4.0 as compared to Android 4.0 and Sense 3.6? So here I have the uh, One X and I can show you. Uh, of course, the One X doesn't have, even though it does have physical buttons, you can see the way the dock is set up. It doesn't take up the whole screen like you do have here on the Amaze 4G. Also, when you pull down the notification bars, you can see that I can quickly jump into the settings there in the One X, and I can't. I have to go into quick settings first and then jump into full settings uh, that way uh, in the One X. Now, we go to the app tray. App tray scrolls from left to right. You can see that here. On the One X, on the Amaze 4G, you scroll up and down to access your applications. You still have your all apps, frequency, and download. It's downloads here, which still is the same. But the difference here is that on the One X, with the, which has Sense 4.0, you have a search option built in into your app tray. You have the Play Store accessible, and you do have your menu button, uh, soft menu key there. Or I see you do have to hit the menu button, menu button on the Amaze 4G. Uh, moving over to the cameras, like I said, the camera apps are different. You can see how it is styled. The camera app on the um, Amaze 4G has a four four letter uh, four uh, four functions on the left hand side. You know which you cycle your scenes as well as your flash in the front facing camera. Um, as well as switch your camera to video and then you have of course your little preview window and your camera button on the one x you do have just these three soft keys for cycling flash this is for your settings which you can go in and out and then this is also for your your camera scenes you do have a camera and as well as a record button at the same time so it just allows you to cycle through and you also have filters which you can actually cycle through quickly uh, there's a zoom bar on the screen. There is no zoom bar on the screen of the Maze 4G. So the differences are, are quite clear. But when it comes to functionality and use, I would say, um, you know, the Amaze 4G here has gotten a very good boost from Android 4.0. Uh, it feels snappier. It's, uh, it feels like, it, you know, the battery life is also improved. Um, at least I've seen a good, you know, good uh, percentage increase in battery life. As, like I said, I'll give you guys a full idea of what the battery life is overall. And um, overall, it just feels like a very smooth and faster device. So a lot of people will be pleased with what they get with Android 4.0 and Sense 3.6. I wish they had implemented more from Sense 4.0 in here, or at least even brought it over. But who knows, maybe they're having issues with that, or maybe we can get that down on the line, down the line in the future. But I do like the improvements. It's made this a fresh device. It's less clunky. The one dial is still the same, so the dial hasn't changed. I'm not going to show you because I've made some phone calls and the numbers there, but the dial hasn't changed. That still looks the same, as well as the... Um, text message um, option. So those are still the same. Those still have the very sense look. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages and also enter into all the contests for the fifth anniversary video. So this is Thundee saying thank you and always enjoying entertainment.